if you guys haven't heard, if you guys haven't heard yet, uh, what's going on with a, a big anime YouTuber, he got 150 copyright claims on 150 individual videos by Toei Animation. And if you guys don't know who Toei Animation is, it's the people who um, created like Dragon Ball, One Piece, right? It's not the animation studio um, that directly targeted him, it's just their copyright holders, right? They, like they have their own individual apartment that goes around and like take down like either illegal websites or videos that just like upload like full episodes of like um, One Piece or Dragon Ball, right? Or my stream, right? <laughs> when I was trying to watch One Piece on stream and when I literally only had like 15 viewers and they get slammed my ass. But you know what? Whatever, I wasn't wrong, I wasn't wrong. I, I, I'll, I'll take the L. So this YouTuber basically got a lot of his, like his whole body of work basically taken down. And this is his whole life, his whole career, and that's just basically his income. He also has to pay his editors, his thumbnail artists. He has employees that he, he has to um, pay. Thing is, he wasn't just straight up uploading like, or reacting, right? Just straight reacting with like the screen in the middle of just like One Piece and just like doing a straight full react uh, of One Piece or Dragon Ball. These are essay videos, right? He takes his time to write down his thoughts and he used clips of like Dragon Ball and One Piece. And all of it should be under the terms of fair use, right? But fair use is very iffy, right? There's no like, you are only allowed to play five seconds of a clip, of a, of a straight clip without any cuts or edits until you have to include some type of zoom in editing or a switch to a different clip, right? There's no explicit fine like black and white detail of like what copyright and what isn't copyright. So like in, J in Japan's world, copyright is old and so traditional. So anything they think that's in like the internet or, or you're distributing like anything that relates to the IP is like copyright. Like they can take that down. Like they own that rights. Like you don't own it, they can take it down, which is so fucking like archaic. And so yeah, th that's basically what happened with Totally Not Mark. Um, that's the summary of it, the TLDR with it. And he has an update video about what happened with him and Toei. And for you people who really don't care about like what happens with Mark, or, like why should I care? Just think about it like this, right? Let's say Toei has the craziest algorithm that can spot anything Dragon Ball One Piece related, right? Anything you post. Let's say you post a meme of One Piece, a picture of Luffy, that their algorithm spots it, you post it on Twitter, right? Ding, 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 ding. A user, user finisher 235 has posted a, a picture of Luffy, take him down. Imagine that, right? This doesn't just like evolve content creators. Like, e like literally, if Toei wants, they can take everything down. Memes, arts, right? Like, cause it's not your, it is your art, right? But you're still using like, let's say you just redrew like Goku, right? There's probably some legality thing that like they can, they have the rights to take that down because you're using their IP, you know, as their art. And it's very finicky and tricky, but like, let's just say like, that's the scenario and that's the word that we live in. And, and it could very well go to that, you know, scenario where like they literally take down literally everything that evolves in their IP, right? Man, like, pe like people are like, who cares? Like he's, that, that's his fault for using like One Piece and he's trying to make money off One Piece of Dragon Ball. It's it's like, sure he is, but he's still giving exposure, right? Any exposure for these IP is good, right? The, the more people who talk about uh, One Piece and Dragon Ball, the more merch, the more mangas, the more subscriptions that they can sell. So totally not Mark is doing something good for the medium. It's, it's, it's a mutual trade off, right? He gets to talk about the IP and use the IP to start his career in business within the lines of copyright. And he gives his thought about um, One Piece and, and, and it gives it exposure. So I, I think it's a perfectly mutual trade-off. So Toei just being like, nah, fuck you, Mark. Fuck you, anyone that uses our IP. You're gonna get striked. Like, it's so archaic. It's so, all these boomers in Japan can't think, bro. And, and I don't have high hopes for like the next generation to step up either because Japan overall is super traditional and very um, rooted in traditions and, and that mindset of like sticking to their roots. So I don't think the next generation, even these old decrepit executives die in Toei and, and other corporations like Nintendo, right? Could change because eventually it's it's still, yeah, it's still, Japan's still very traditionalistic. Yeah, it, it's, it's it, that's how it is. There's not much we can do about this because people are like, all right, guys, let's boycott. Let, let's say, let's say fuck Toei, right? Fuck Toei. Let, 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 let's, let's, Cancel your Funimation a subscription. Don't buy any more merch. Like, what, what else can you not do to support Toei, right? The manga you can still buy because that directly supports um um the mangaka, N not not the the like the, the, the animation studio or the, the, the producers or the copyright rights of like the, the anime, right? So that's different. Um, you can still buy the manga. I'm pretty sure. Even as let's say like we boycott all that shit, right? It's just still such a small portion of us that makes not even a droplet in, in the money that they accumulate and produced from like all the sales from like, like think about like people who just don't even like aren't even in the medium, not, not like, are, like participating in like 
anime YouTube at all, right? And like they don't, they never got the message of like fuck Toei, right? People are still gonna consume um, Toei products. Like this is how it is. Like boycotting just never ever works. Like it just doesn't. Like think think of EA, think of Blizzard, right? People are like, oh yeah, fuck these companies. Oh, oh fuck up fucking work practice. Like them touching and farting on women and all that shit, weird shit, right? And like, oh, all this, all this boycotted. Uninstall the game, stop buying skins, blah, blah, blah. And people still do it. Still, still people, people still buy EA game. People still buy Star Wars games. People still play Overwatch, even though how dead it is, right? People still buy loot boxes. So I, I don't know what we really could do. We can make an uproar, right? We can make an uproar in the scene like, yeah, fuck Toei, blah, blah, blah. But like, even with bad PR, bro, even like, look at EA again, look at Blizzard. They have terrible PR and they're still making money year over year. Like look at the revenue of 2021. They're still doing great. What can we do? We need another country to make anime now, but like the animes that we're watching, like Dragon Ball, right? Dragon Ball and One Piece, especially One Piece, right? Like what can we do? Like there's no, there's no other animation studio that can just swoop in and take that IP, right? Toei Animation owns it. So like we, we can't do anything about it. It just, it just sucks. We, we have our hands tied. All we can do is just support totally not mark some people know this but like youtube has this algorithm where they scan your video any video that gets uploaded on youtube and they can cut and, and see like okay is this fair use or not like are they playing this clip for too long are they playing the audio for too long like the audio the visual things that um trigger the algorithm to flag it as copyright youtube has that totally mark and his editors done a great job to make it completely in the terms of youtube's fair use but he still gets flagged because fuck, fuck mark right fuck mark for trying to promote Dragon Ball and One Piece and any other animes, right? For you guys who aren't caught up in the news and who don't understand um, how YouTube copyright system works. So when a copyright holder strikes you, you can dispute it. So once you dispute it, it's up to the copyright holder to decide if it's fair use or not, not YouTube. Like, bro, that's such a backwards as like system. Like YouTube is so broken. And, and the problem with YouTube is like, we're gonna remove dislikes when it's such a good like feedback mechanism for the users to see if a video is good or clickbait or like what they came for or not. But they don't wanna fucking fix their copyright uh, system. Protect the creator to my ass, bro. One day, like all the revenue could just disappear from your video, right? And you can, and that person, like I said, like if you guys don't care about it, your favorite YouTuber, right? Just imagine like some copyright holder just smites them off the planet, right? Just bam. Cop three copyright strikes, you're done. You're done. Your, your channel is permabanned. Why did YouTube remove the dislike? So dumb. The reason they said is to protect the creators because people have been going in like a group of people targeting a specific creator or like a video like or like multiple instances, right? Where they go in a video and bomb dislike it, right? But at the same time, it's like, what is this like gonna do? They can still go into the comment section and write full sentence and say, fuck you, I hate you, you're ugly, you're stupid, ugly ass haircut, receding hairline, buckle chin head, head ass boy, pickle chin head ass boy. Like they can literally go do that. It this like button doesn't change anything. They can still go in the comment section and spew even more hate to you. So this YouTube is so dumb, bro. It is so dumb with this whole removing dislike button. It's so useless, it takes more pros than cons enough rambling let's see what the update with uh totally marks uh situation is right l let's go and see it all right wait what did he remove it wait 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 did mark remove the video wait 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 he just uploaded a new video wait wait breaking news breaking news boys he literally just uploaded a video three hours ago so i think he won i, th I think he's won he wanted his dispute holy shit last video addressing and updating what's been going on with toei animation and I say that not because I've heard anything from them or YouTube because I haven't. It's not because I haven't felt an enormous amount of support from so many people because I have. It's actually for an entirely different reason I never thought would be a factor and that's me. Whenever I would work on a video in the past, no matter how long it was or how tired I got while working on it, I never felt comfortable settling for anything less than what I thought was the very best I could do. And over the years, I've grown accustomed to pushing myself to work harder, longer, and all that comes with that mindset regardless of how I felt physically. Which is a big reason as to why those videos I lost meant so much to me. But today, I think I've reached my limit. To be clear, Fuck, I he didn't win it. That suffered from any form of anxiety. I'm very fortunate in that regard, but over the last week, I've not been able to sleep, and due to the anxiety associated with this occasion and the scope of it, I've also had trouble eating. This is an entirely new experience for me, and one that has been fueled by what's been going on both publicly and privately in my personal life. To say that a lot of things went wrong this week would be an understatement, and how this has impacted me and made me feel has been something I never expected. The difference in how I was feeling in the first video and the second video was enormous, and today it's even worse. 
In those videos, I tried to be as honest and transparent about how I was feeling and the details that were unfolding around me. I chose to make this public because I wanted not to lose three years worth of work, for what I considered to be unfair reasons. But I don't think that this is something that can change. At least not now. I hope it does in the future, but right now I need this to be over. I no longer stand by a boycott of toy animation. And in our what? first step in moving away from this horrible week, the two videos I've made addressing this situation will be unlisted and a new video will be released tomorrow. It's the first half of my review for the Wait, Spider Man with Andrew Garfield. The portion of that video that I will upload tomorrow was written, recorded, and edited before this whole thing happened. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish it. This will also be my last video of 2021. And over the next few weeks leading into Fuck. 2022, I need to sit back and reassess with my team how we're feeling and what our plans will be for the future of this channel. To those of you that wanted me to keep pushing this cause, I'm sorry that I can't keep going. And to those that found my actions disrespectful, know that this was never my intention. I was just what? trying to end up for what I thought I should. Either way, this entire week hasn't been fruitless. Thanks to you and the love that you've shared with both myself and my team over the last week, 10,000 United States dollars will be donated to the Light Ring charity which supports suicide prevention for the youth of Japan. And honestly, that's He's making a donation too? After all of this. The generosity of all of you to help myself, my team, and the children of Japan this Christmas. So thank you, have a happy holiday, and I'll see you all next year. Like, I mean, how could you give flack to this guy? My man's donating 10k to Japan suicide prevention. And people are still hating on him. And he think they're, they think he's still in the wrong for using clips of like One Piece and like Dragon Ball. Like, do people not understand what a video essay is? Like, you need visuals. You need visuals. You need things to go in your eyes. Go whoop, 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 right? And it needs to stimulate your eyes. It's not a fucking essay where I'm reading fucking words. Do, 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 right? He's allowed to use clips. He should be using clips to, to elaborate and expand on his point. It, it is so crazy. People who giving him fucking flack. I, I honestly thought Mark was like gonna keep pursuing this on and on, right? And I, I thought he was like winning the support because the support was so strong, especially from a lot of YouTubers, right? Like Moist Critical, PewDiePie, like, and, and Joey the Anime Man. Like all these people are coming out to support him, even the anime community. And people past the anime community are like supporting him, right? So I thought like he was getting a lot of support and he, he would be feeling good inside. But like, I, I don't know if the, there's also like a strong like vocal minority that's like dogging on him or like Toei is like sending him emails to like shut this off. I, I mean, I, Everyone experienced, you know, this type of like situation differently, right? Like, like this type of exposure, support, hate, you know, differently. So like, it just sucks for Mark. And his intro video for his Patreon got flagged by Toei Animation. His intro YouTube video for his Patreon got flagged. These are just fucking ruthless, bro. I I'll probably sub to um, Totally Not Mark's Patreon, uh, at least for like the Christmas season and maybe until like next year as well to support what's going on. And, and you know, he's going through a lot and he makes good anime content. I support that. Hopefully you guys do too. You guys don't have to, but um, and I'm not trying to guilt into you guys into doing that. Uh, I'm just saying like, if you guys want to, the Patreon is here. Um, the link is here. Do what you please.